Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, finally got the cross member um, jig figured out. So those that are looking to uh, use this cross member type, um, you know, it's very reproducible. And uh, let's take a closer look. So here's the jig with the uh, cross member um, painted right here on top. Um, I love this design. It's so simple and will work well with um, with the VW bus application. So it requires four holes, um, two on each side, and um, basically this will just uh, allow the engine load to be carried uh, more substantially by the frame. And here's the cross member, just one solid piece, ready to install into the bus. So here we are, we have the uh, engine cross member bolted to the engine itself and all we have to do now is drill the holes onto the uh, frame rail. So two on this side and as we come over, two on the right side. The cross member is now in, it is bolted to the frame and we are uh, now ready to start the engine. Now that all the life support systems are connected, um, the engine cross member is in, um, all the fluids are in, oil and coolant, uh, we're ready to start the engine. Uh, before we do that though, I'm going to show you uh, the B10 scan tool um, and what's needed to make that work, so follow along. There are a couple of items that are needed for uh, scanning using the B10 scan tool. First off, just go down to the thrift store or wherever um, and find a printer cable, an old printer cable. This is a 25 or 26 pin. Uh, we'd have to look on uh, vCall's uh, web uh, page for a very detailed description on how to uh, make this cable. But uh, this connector here is uh, what's needed to interface with the select monitor um, connector on the 90 to 94 uh, Subarus. Now you'll notice there's only three pins that are used. So those three that you see, one on the left and two on the right there. So those are the only ones that are needed. But there, like I said, there are some really good detailed instructions on Vcall's site. The next thing you'll need is a laptop that will have the um, printer connection. So you know, a brand new laptop more than likely will not have that. So this is an old laptop that I have um, and basically it's just for this purpose. Um, I have it boot to CD which on the CD is an image of the B10 scan tool. Once again this is all detailed on Recall's site. So we're gonna plug this in and use that as our gauge for um, judging how the engine's running for the first time. Another option for those of you uh, swapping in a later engine, so a 95 plus, is to just get a um, an OBD2 scanner. So this actually is an Elm scanner. It's an Elm 327. You can get them on eBay for under $20 and they, and they connect to a wireless device, so a laptop. I have it connecting to um, my iPad, even my iPhone, so um, this is super helpful as well. A lot of the apps that interface with this actually um, allow you to set up custom gauges as well as read codes and other diagnostics. The gauges are super helpful on the first start, so I thought I'd mention this as well. So here's the laptop uh, with the B10 scan tool loaded. We'll follow the cable to the uh, select monitor connection here. And so what I'm going to do now is start up the engine and use the scan tool to check RPM, check engine temperature, see if we have any trouble codes, things like that.
So I've moved the uh, computer over to a table right in front of the bus here just because uh, it's kind of noisy. Um, so once you've got the scan tool loaded, you can uh, kind of run through the parameters. Right here it tells you the, uh, the ROM ID and what, uh, what computer version you're running. And it tells you the system volts, vehicle speed, engine speed. Right now we're at about a little over a thousand RPM. Just just started, so we're yeah you know, we're we're a little high right now, but that's where we're at. The coolant temperature um, 120.2, and uh, it refreshes every now and then. But this is just a good uh, good way to first start your your conversion because otherwise you kind of be blind unless you had your gauges in place. Mission timing, airflow signal, the load percentage, throttle position signal, injector pulse width, IAC, valve duty cycle, oxygen sensor signal, fuel trim, timing correction, what input switches we have, the neutral switch on it's off right now is it a california car it's off right now you know just a bunch of uh, useful information um, we've got the ac relay is off right now but the idle switch is on so the radiator fan is off right now the ac switch is off um, let's continue through here active trouble codes uh, everything looks okay so far but keep in mind we just started it so um, more than likely we won't have a ton that show up here and this tool gives you the opportunity to also view the stored trouble code since this uh, computer has been out and therefore disconnected from battery for a while um, there aren't any and this is also a place where you could clear the memory and now it also clears any learned behavior so you want to be careful about that it's been idling for about five minutes now and we're just now getting to 185 F so um, I'm just going to continue monitoring it and uh, seeing when the uh, fans kick on I'll bring you back in so the fans just kicked on um, right at about 200 F so let's take a look at that real quick So here's the rear scoop. We've just got a little piece of paper here, and you know it's going pretty good. So take a look here. So It's bringing the temperature down pretty quickly here. Now this is just at idle. Uh, at highway speeds, it'll it'll go down quite a bit faster. So the fans kick on about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, about 95 or so degrees Celsius, and then they turn off around 192 Fahrenheit. So. Um, we're going to use this information uh, to verify uh, the gauge that we install. So the engine uh, started up pretty easily and um, the fans kicked on at the correct time. The cooling system is doing great at idle. Uh, the real test will be uh, once we install the gauge, uh, the gauges. Um, the real test will be, you know, highway, stop and go traffic, and so forth. So. Uh, Next up, we're going to install the gauge, so uh, follow along.